YouTube, what's good? It's your boy, Bearman17. Coming to show with a video today. Uh, you already know what firearm we got. We got the Smith & Wesson MMP Shield Plus. And uh, pretty much I'm going to be just be showing y'all some of the different magazine options that come with that. So uh, I got my tier one concealment holster on. Let me go ahead and show y'all what we got. So uh, the Shield Plus, for the purpose of this video, it's already cleared. I got the Terra Mag in there right now. It's clear. We're clear. We're clear as day, all right? So, Shield Plus is cleared. Uh, I have a 15 round magazine. It's cleared. 13 round mag is cleared. All right. So, with the Shield Plus, what comes stock? Uh, you're going to get your 10 round mag, and you'll get, let me put this 15 round mag. You get your 10 round mag, you get your 15 round mag. Uh, take that back. You get your 10 round mag. 13 round mag. We're not editing this one take Drake. 10 rounds, 13 rounds. Uh the shield, the shield plus equalizer or the shield equalizer, whatever the fuck. Can, comes with a 15 round mag. If you look online, you can find this for like 40 bucks. 40, 50 bucks. Somewhere just look it up. Shield equalizer. 15 round mag. If it's out of stock, just do the notification thing. So you put your email address in so you get the notification when they back in stock. That's what I did. I waited like two weeks, uh, placed my order. Once I got the email, came in like three days later, 15 round mag. So with the 10 rounder, obviously it's 10 rounds. It's the smallest mag. It's gonna have the best concealment. This right here, this is gonna be like a true fucking pocket rocket. Like I got joggers on. I can just drop this in my pocket. It has the best concealment. The best, you can't see it. Like, I could pocket carry this, but am I going to? No, I'm not, because, like, what the fuck would I do that? I want pocket carry. But, Terra Mags, uh, it is a flush fit. Y'all know me, I got big ass hands, and, like, yeah. Yeah, it could work. If you want to run 10 rounds, you just got to train with it. Like, yes, you can get used to it. It's not that bad. Uh, the 10 round mag, it does lock back whenever you just, when you rack it back. A 13 round mag, it doesn't just because, like, I don't know. Like, if y'all can see this here, y'all see it's a, just a little bit of that right there. I'm assuming that's what's causing this to not rack back. And it's the same thing with the 15 round mag. It's not locking back just because it has that. Like, there's a little bit more space it could push up and then it'll rack back, you know? But. Uh, 13 round mag. This is the one that I use the most. I shoot it the most. It's my favorite. Army Nil is my main mag. Like, when I go to the range, this is the one that I do my thing with, you know? Uh, so, when you're shooting this at the range, yes, after the last shot, it will rack back. So, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. It'd just be nice if it did it, like, the way it was supposed to. But the 13 round mag, you get a better grip. A better grip, it feels pretty natural. Uh, more surface area than the 10 round mag, obviously. When you go with the 15 round mag, I'll show you this, let me try to save you on just, just cause. This is what it looks like, 13 round mag, all right? Let me show y'all the 10 round mag real quick. 10 round mag, you really gotta get your hand around it cause like, it is a small grip, a smaller grip. I got big hands and like, yeah, I can make this work. But when you have option of 13, 15 if you got one up top that's 29 shots right here so why not but yeah i showed y'all the 13 round mag i showed y'all the 10 now let me show y'all the 15 rounder okay so here boom we have our 15 round mag chill plus 16 if you got one in the head and boom this here grip is very nice it's way more surface area it feels very comfortable uh the 13 round mag it feels decent, but honestly, I think I like the 15 round mag more. So yeah, when I EDC, I go with the 15 round mag. I go with the 13 round mag and the sidecar, just because you have more surface area with this. You see this right here, like yes, that part of the uh, of the magazine is not touching my hands, or my hands are not touching that part of the mag. But there's more space around here, and on the bottom, like you get just a little bit more surface area, so you get a little bit better grip. 
or you could train and get a little bit of a better grip. It might feel more natural. 13 round mag, it's not that, it's not bad at all. It's just, it's smooth. Like really, 13, the 13 round mag, it almost makes the 10 round mag redundant when you have the 15. Like unless you got it, unless you're forced to pocket carry, if you're just going somewhere where you got a pocket carry and you really, you're really, really worried about concealment, then go with the 10 round mag. Other than that, I'm going 15 round straight up. 13 round mag back up, and then if you really want to, you could just throw this in your pocket or something like that, or get another mag just to throw it on your belt, you know, or another clip, throw it on your belt. Then at that point, you can have 15 or 16 if you got one up top, plus a 13, that's 29, plus a 10, 39. That's damn near 40 shots. You can't go wrong with that, especially in a smallest package like this right here. That's the, like, the Shield Plus. It's an amazing platform. There's no reason to not get one. Like this right here, this is by far my favorite firearm. By far. And then once I, once I throw these here true glows on there, it's just gonna make it even that much better. Like this right here, it's honestly like the perfect, to me, it's the perfect firearm. Like, I just feel like you can't go wrong with it. Like, you just, I just feel like you can't go wrong with it. Like, just look at it. Just look at this mug. You can't go wrong. I'll take the mag out just just cause. You can't go wrong. If you could get you could get 15 rounds in this right here. 15 rounds. Tell me like it's better than a Glock 26. So yeah, 15 rounds in this bitch. You can't go wrong. Uh, I'm gonna put that away for now. Now we're just gonna talk about these three mags. All right. Okay, so. 10 rounder, 13, 15. Which one? Y'all comment below, which mag would you run if you had to pick one? Obviously, y'all know me, I'm going with the 15. 13, the backup. 10 round, the backup, backup. Or you could go, you could go 10 round in the, in the Shield Plus, 15 round backup, that's 26. Or you could go 10 and 13, that's 24. Or you could go 15 and 13, that's 29. If you got one up top, come on now. Don't comment no dumb shit down below. Do not comment no dumb shit. You know what the fuck I'm talking about. 15 plus 13 is 28, one up top 29. So you got you got options. And this gun here, really, uh, I don't really care to put a light on it. You can put a light, but I haven't seen any holsters that are compatible with the lights. The only thing that I, that I would upgrade on this gun here is the sights. And the only reason I'm doing that is because I'm not getting that G45 quite just yet. But I think I found out what I'm gonna get after the G45. I think I'm gonna get the 1911 way after the G45. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Get you one of these 15 round mags, get you two, get you three, why not? They're available, so why not do it? Uh, if you don't have you a firearm, get you a Shield Plus. I mean, go check one out. In my opinion, you can't go wrong with one, but, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. Uh, if you got anything to say, comment below. Other than that, I'll see you on the next video. Peace.